How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Puppy Gamer. He says, can you please do a tutorial on how to make an in-game shop in your pause screen? I tried finding tutorials to help me, but there were none that applied to what I had in mind. This would help me a lot with my game, thank you if you do. Alright Puppy Gamer, let's look at your request. Now in order to get this working right, you're going to need a plugin, Yanfly's main menu manager. I'll put a link in the description below for you. So in order to get this working, you right click on English Mirror, you click Save Link As, and you're going to go to your game's JS Plugins folder, and you're going to save it there. I'm sure most of you know how to do a switch toggle, so if you don't, it's right here. All I'm doing is showing choices, do you want to download the shop coordinates? If they say yes, we're just doing a control switch. Once you've got the main menu manager installed, double click it. To make this simple, we're going to just change some pre-existing lines. So scroll down to about 80, 82. And inside here you'll see it'll say Common Event 2. Just double click here and name this whatever you want to call it. Make sure you put the quotations otherwise it'll run as an eval. So I'm just going to make this um, called Shop. And then we're going to keep the symbol the same, Common Event, so it calls a Common Event. Now if you want to just have this enabled from the beginning of the game, just change this from False to True and it'll always be there. However, if you want the, the shop to only show when you've talked to a certain NPC or you've gotten past a certain point, we can use a switch to toggle when this shows or not. So if you want to use a switch to toggle when this shows, just use dollar sign game switches dot value, then the number of the switch you want to check and then see if it's true. So if this, if this is true, if game switch 10 is true, then it will actually show up on the list. Enabled needs to be true. Now this extension is going to refer to the common event that you want to call when you hit the button inside your main menu. So we're going to keep this actually the same so it calls a common event and change that. So we're picking an, a number arbitrarily right here. So keep that number in mind. Once you've got that number, you're going to go to your common events and go to that number and then input the common event you want to call when you press the button. So in here, all I did was go to Shop Processing, which is on tab 3 under Scene Control, Shop Processing. You can select the merchandise that you want to buy and sell here, and bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, you got it. So we immediately open up the menu, we see that we have no option for shopping. It's just the regular stuff there. But if we go here and we download the shop coordinates, you can do this however you want. We we'll say yes, it toggles the switch on, and now we have Shop and we can go to shop, it calls the common event, which does the shop processing, and we can buy stuff from the shop. So very easy way to add a menu, a shop menu inside your menu, your pause screen. So hopefully this helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, the link's in the description below. Come hang out in the Discord. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.